So in the early days, I had a good life. 16 years old. I want you to imagine a person who couldn't give less attention to what people thought about him. I was playing Fortnite all day. I looked weird. My fashion sense was bad. Red shorts with bright green t-shirts. It would look awful when I'm looking back on it. And I want you to imagine a socially anxious boy who is feeling alone but doesn't like talking to people and wouldn't talk to people just out of desperation just because he's alone. He would rather be alone and enjoy his things than talk to other people who he doesn't really respect or enjoy what they have to say. I really enjoyed my alone time. But then the new age came, close to me turning 17 and 18. I started going to parties, which was inevitable, and started pursuing the satanic acts that everybody does. Drinking, smoking weed, chasing girls. I started doing all kinds of dumb stuff, but I actually started to enjoy social validation and to enjoy what others wanted to say. I would fit in try to fit in in their expectations of me. Pretty normal, right? You're doing that right now. Later on, it became a norm. It became an addiction where you must get the social validation where you had to do stuff because of that. At the beginning, I was doing it because I enjoyed social validation, but later on, it was purely peer pressure. And I'm not talking about the, the stupid form everybody gets hit from, for example, Somebody else is trying weed and they're putting it towards me so I could try. I'm not talking about that. That happens to everybody. I was at a point where I was doing things that I enjoyed, but not really. I went to parties with people I didn't like and you know why? Because I haven't been invited that much to parties in that time period, for example. Six months without parties. To consider, I would say no, I wanted to go there. And not because I love the people, because I love the idea of parties. It was staying in my head like, that's like some godly creature. It was basically an act out of desperation, but I didn't have any fun and it gets even worse. I went to the party, I didn't enjoy it like first hour and then I was done. I was pretty much feeling like going home, but I didn't. Why? I've been waiting for this so much. Okay, I'm gonna wait till my friends go home because they're living close to me. I stayed at the whole party just so it wouldn't be weird that I leave alone. Then when I was coming back home with them, I didn't even enjoy their presence. I didn't really like them anymore. I changed, they changed. When his, I was waiting for them, I, I didn't stay true to my intentions. I would just sacrifice myself just to please them or live something that I thought was a good idea in my head, didn't correlate to my happiness. This whole thing was happening until a good friend of mine opened my eyes. He plays tennis, he plays video games, he stays at home, he rarely ever leaves. And I do not really appreciate the way he lives. I think it's so wrong. The point is, he lives exactly like he wants to. Nobody's telling him what to do. If you tell him, come on, get outside with us, he would just say, no, I don't want to. And that's it. Have I lost respect for him? I respect him even more. He does anything he wants and not what would be attractive to other people. And guess what? The most attractive thing you could do is stay true and be certain of the things you want to do. The task by itself don't make you attractive. If you like playing cards, that doesn't make you attractive because you're playing cards. It makes you attractive because you're certain. You could be like in a group of five people and they would say, playing cards is homosexual and then you just say now who cares i'm a homosexual then that's it no peer pressure don't switch your mindset don't switch your thoughts just stay true to yourself even if they don't agree with what you think they'll respect you more than if you just became a sheep and follow them and try to fit in but really faking it and you don't really enjoy it and they don't enjoy it because they see it's fake so what's my conclusion the point of this wasn't so I can tell you, okay, this is how you become attractive to other people, men and women. The whole point was to tell you the, the one final fix that you may be missing on in order to fix your mental health completely. The best way, number one way to gain confidence in both yourself and also translate it to see your social interactions with other people is to stay true to yourself and every word you say. You must mean it. Start to be self-aware of the things you say. Do you really mean them? Is this a YouTube video talking or is it me? You can listen to other people to influence your ideas, but you should feel it deep in your soul because then you know it's true and then you stay true to it. If you don't like going to parties, don't do it. And even more importantly, if you somehow end up at a crackhead party, miserable, you don't like your environment, you don't like people around you, just leave. Why are you there? Just leave, you messed up. Tell yourself that you messed up and then just leave. Go get your sleep. Nobody's forcing you to stay there. Don't be afraid to lose respect because actually you'll get respect. Imagine saying, I don't feel so good, I'm tired. I don't really enjoy this, I'm going home to sleep. I'll see you boys. And then you just go 
just go home. You think they'll respect you more there or if you say, oh yeah, 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 I'm having lots of fun and then you're just drinking alcohol in the corner. You don't even mean it. You can't even say it with that certainty because you don't, you know you don't enjoy it. You feel like a spineless weakling. If it isn't something that is critical to your advancement and upgrading your life and everything, you should just leave it if you don't enjoy it. That doesn't work when it comes to business because in business, you must go through hardship. You must do the things you're, it's hard to do, but you're supposed to do them. But how is staying at a party you don't like for two or three more extra hours just to wait for friends you don't even like to go back home with you? How is that correlate to your success? You're just gonna lose two to three hours of your sleep and then you're gonna feel like shit the next morning. Normalize saying no to people. Normalize putting yourself first before other people's interests. I need to get to your head that people respect you for how certain you are in the things that you're doing and not the actual things you're doing. If you smoke weed, people will only respect you if they see that you're generally enjoying the act and not just doing that to appear cool. By doing everything I've told you here, you're not only going to get respect from random strangers because they're gonna say, oh, this guy is actually, he knows what he wants, I respect him. You're gonna get respect from the two most important people in your life and that's yourself and God, of course. Staying true to your intentions and not faking them will get you the ultimate respect from those two, which will lead to a life more fulfilling as well as make you more happy. This shouldn't be misconstrued for stepping over other people to get what you want and being the most selfish person there is. You should never step on yourself in order to please others because they're not gonna be pleased, they're gonna step even more. You need to respect yourself first before they respect you. Kind of cliche take, everybody says it. I'll explain it to you into more detail. Much different than you've heard anybody say before and it finally gets to your head. I'm spell casting you, do you see? I'm telling you. You're gonna believe me, I'm a hypnotist. End this behavior and you'll see how less socially anxious you are when you're in front of other people, especially people you don't know, instead of being a spineless weakling.